Hello everybody, welcome to another CSK editing tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you the best render settings for Adobe After Effects. Now this is actually an updated version of a older video I made about render settings. And in that video, I showed you how to render an uncompressed clip. However, that obviously has drawbacks since it's uncompressed, the file sizes are going to be huge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to render with Adobe Media Encoder and that will give you smaller file sizes and you'll hardly notice a quality difference from rendering it. So obviously we're going to need to have a clip to render out. I'm just going to quickly create a new composition with this clip here, which is actually in the wrong aspect ratio, which is fine. So I can show you how to correct that. So if you have a clip like this that's in the wrong aspect ratio, go ahead and right click on the composition and go to settings and go ahead and change the uh, uh, resolution of whatever the clip is supposed to be. So in this case, it's supposed to be 2560 by 1080, like so. And just go ahead and select the layer, press Control, Alt and F, and that will stretch it so it fits the uh, resolution you set it in the composition, and that will make it fit like so. And now we're back in 21 by nine aspect ratio, like so, that's what we want. Obviously we need to select the render region, so go ahead and select that like so. So these uh, things here are the render region. So I'm just going to do the entire composition like so. Once you have that selected, go to File, Export, and add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. And that will launch Adobe Media Encoder. All right, so in the queue, you should be able to see your clip. But what we need to do first is go ahead and set an output path. So just go ahead and click on the output file and go ahead and set a directory to wherever you want to render out. I'm just going to select my D drive like so. And once that is done, go ahead and click on H.264. Once that's done, this box should pop up, the export settings. Go ahead and make sure you selected H.264. And uh, preset, you can pretty much leave that because we're going to be creating a custom one anyway. Uh, if you have audio in your clip, you can go ahead and check this box as well. I don't have any audio with this clip, so I'm just going to uncheck that. Once that is done, head over to the video tab, scroll down till you find bitrate settings. Make sure you have VBR one pass. Set the target bitrate to 50, like so, and set the maximum bitrate to 60. Once that is done, you can pretty much leave everything else default. Now, if you do have audio with your clip, you can go ahead and enable that. Uh, which I disabled and pretty much use the default settings that come with the presets uh, automatically. So 320 high, uh, stereo 48,000 AAC. Uh, the default settings should work perfectly fine. And once you have uh, that done and created the preset, you can go ahead and actually save it if you really want to. I'm just going to leave it. Once you've uh, done all those settings, just press OK. And uh, once that is done, just press Start and it should start rendering. Uh, it shouldn't take too long since Adobe Media Encoder is actually quite fast. All right, so once that's done, just go ahead and click the upper file like so, and you'll open up the uh, directory you set it to. Here is the render clip, as you can see, it's uh, nice and small. It's about 62 megabytes. And if I play it, you can see it's in, it is in very good quality. And you can actually hardly tell that it's actually been rendered. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.